If you've even slept walk through a kitchen, you know that most stoves come in two primary forms, either gas or electric. But what about induction? Unlike a gas or electric range, for an induction range, you need a specific type of cookware. In today's quick tip video, I'm gonna show you the foolproof way of finding out if your cookware is induction ready. So induction ranges are technically a form of electricity, but instead of heating a coil that then heats a pan like a traditional electric range, inductions work by sorcery. Uh, okay, maybe not sorcery, but it may as well be. Induction ranges work by a form of magnetism, and it may as well be sorcery because if you, if you Google this stuff, this is way above my head. It talks about alternating currents and eddy currents and resistance. But basically, because of the magnetism, what it does is it heats the pan up very quickly, very easily, and with minimal thermal loss. And all that means is it's a really efficient way of cooking. So the basic idea is this. If your cookware is magnetic, it will work with an induction range. And how do you tell if your cookware is magnetic? Well, with a magnet, of course. It doesn't even have to be a fancy one. I use this, it's just off the back of a name tag, or if you have a magnetic sticker on your fridge, you can grab that. Hey, can you guess where this is from? So here's a variety of pots and pans that I've laid out, and most of them will work with an induction range, but a couple of them won't. How to know for sure? Let's give them the magnet test. Now, some of these are gonna be obvious. Something like a large cast iron pan, highly magnetic because it's iron. And as you probably know, iron is a ferrous material and very magnetic. The same thing goes for an enameled cast iron pan like this uh, stob. Again, this works. If you have a Le Creuset, which is the French enameled cast iron cookware, same thing. By the way, I love this, um, this, this pot with this lid because it's actually another little skillet. I got this uh, Le Creuset at a, uh, one of the clearance stores years ago and I just love the thing. It's such a nice combination and it's so useful because uh, again, this extra pan also serves as a lid, so cool. As for stainless steel pans, uh, some may work with induction and some may not. Again, the only way that you're gonna be able to tell is with a magnet. So here I have a, um, this is a Calphalon uh, stainless steel pan, and uh, to my delight, it's, it's magnetic, so this does work with an induction range. But I have, uh, this is an emerald pan that's actually made by Allclad. This does not work. See, this does, this does not stick. So this one would not work on induction. Some pots and pans may surprise you in that they actually are induction ready. That was certainly the case with this uh, Nordicware uh, nonstick skillet that I bought. Magnetic. I use this for uh, almost primarily for eggs, omelets, uh, anything that is, is super, super sticky like that. This is prim primarily my egg and omelet pan. A few more examples that we'll try. Here is an, an all-clad pot, and again, this is stainless steel, and you may think that, that it wouldn't work, but it does. So obviously, within these layers is a ferrous material that is magnetic, so it will work on, on induction. Now, I really like a Calphalon cookware, which is an anodized aluminum. It's, it's a really great material, it's heavy duty, but, um, no go for induction. This is, again, this is anodized aluminum, and as you probably know, aluminum is not magnetic. Now, induction cookware isn't necessarily reserved for new cookware. Um, something like a cast iron lodge pan from the old days will work just as well. And I've got a uh, vintage uh, Desco ware here. This is actually made in Belgium, and uh, this was a enameled cast iron as well. And just like the modern Creuset, modern Staub, 
Magnetic works on induction. Now, if you've watched my videos, you probably note that I have a gas range. That's what's in my uh, kitchen and what I prefer because I really like the, the precision and the control of it. But I do also have uh, an induction burner. I have a little uh, portable model that I picked up and that's really great to use too. I use that when I need an extra burner and I even use it outside when I'm cooking something maybe really high heat that I don't want all that smoke and that smell stinking up the house. So if you have an induction range or you're planning on getting one, or uh, you're not sure if your cookware that you have or the cookware that you're shopping for will work with an induction range, remember, just, just bring a magnet. All you have to do is stick it on the bottom and if the magnet sticks, it'll work with induction. I hope you found this quick tip video helpful. If you did, please give it a like and please subscribe to this channel for uh, more easy recipes, cooking tips, and whatever else I can dream up and whatever questions you have. If you have a question on something in the kitchen or a recipe that you wanna make, please put that in the comments below or you can also DM me on my Instagram. As always, thanks for watching and in the meantime, keep on cooking. By the way, this one works so well that I'm actually having trouble getting the magnet off. <laughs>